Immediately after the Civil War in 1865, Reconstruction began. Louisiana would have the first black mayor and governor and lieutenant governor in the country. But Reconstruction was also the beginning of a regression of freedom for blacks. Christopher Leach has the story from our sister station in New Orleans. By December 6th, 1865, the 13th Amendment abolishes slavery in the United States. The bloodiest war the country had faced was over, but racial conflict was to endure as former Confederates fought to reestablish themselves and radicals from the North tried to rally the formerly enslaved for their votes. But freedom was probationary. The Black Code was a way of keeping former slaves on the plantation, keeping them under control. Because of a fear that it might kind of lead to turmoil or kind of go against the, uh, a slave-based society. Black codes would restrict the recently emancipated shortly after they were freed. It would set the stage for different types of citizenship and challenge the very concepts of freedom and equality. Every county and parish in the South had black codes and St. Landry's Parish had a curious one in particular that required its black citizens to work for someone who was white, restricted free travel without a permit, ordained that no blacks were permitted to rent or keep a house within the parish, and outlawed public meetings of blacks, among other restrictions. You're required to stay on a plantation that, that uh, enslaved you. It's unfair. It's inhuman. By 1868, the tension had mounted, with political election on the horizon. The two opposing political newspapers were writing of the dangers of an all-out race war. An editorial published by uh, an 18-year-old teacher named Emerson Bentley, who was originally from the North but had come down to Louisiana to teach in the Freedmen's Schools. He published accusing um, the white Democrats and former Confederates of intimidating blacks so that they couldn't, uh, so they couldn't register to vote, you know, or, or showing up in mass armed at political gatherings. Several days of violence ensued with higher estimates leaving over 200 people dead, mostly African-American citizens in Opelousas. Those who were arrested were then broken out of jail by the Ku Klux Klan and lynched. The progressive political party that sought to uh, enfranchise the black vote was completely destroyed um, a month before the election. Honoring Black History, Mind, Body, and Soul. I'm Christopher Leach. The Civil Rights Act of 1866 declared all people to be American citizens, regardless of race. But it wasn't until about 100 years later with the Civil Rights Act of 1964 when racial discrimination was prohibited. Now, to see more stories honoring Black History, you can go to the feature section of our website, fox2now.com.